Hey guys, it's High School Mac. Today we're just going to do a first impressions video of my new iPhone 5. I decided to get the 64 gigabyte in black and I am happy with this decision so far. It's a very, very sleek phone. As you can see it has a new Thunderbolt connector on the bottom along with they moved the headphone jack to the bottom. And if you guys have Mac, a MacBook Pro or any kind of Mac, you you will be familiar with the back plating. It feels almost exactly like the MacBook Pro right here. I have seen some news that says the back aluminum is more susceptible to scratching. I will keep you guys posted. I haven't seen or I haven't noticed any scratching so far. But overall, I really do like that two tone design on the back. Um, they also added a new nano sim design, which hasn't really changed any of the experience for me. Also included were the ear pods. I. I want to comment on, they did round the edges of the volume up and down, and so I remember the old ones getting caught on my clothing, and this is nice that they finally fixed that. They have a little different design, they don't have that rubber around the outer ring anymore, but these do conform right to your ear. And they're actually pretty comfortable. They don't seem to want to fall out of my ears at all. And the first thing I noticed about them was the base is actually dramatically better. Overall, I'm very happy with these headphones. Apple finally stepped up their game and decided to choose or to include some nice headphones. I just want to talk about a few changes that I first noticed right when I got the phone. So, first off, when you see the screen, and you see it side by side compared to the iPhone 4 or the iPhone 4s you can notice the new color saturation is actually a lot better, the colors are more true compared to the iPhone 4s and 4 and this is one of the things that I noticed the new maps app on iOS 6 isn't as bad as everyone has been complaining about in my area, I didn't notice any errors. I think people are over exaggerating, but maybe that's just the fanboy in me. I haven't got a chance to use Passbook yet. One thing I did notice was that the speaker is ridiculously loud and it stays clear when you have it maxed out. Which is nice because I like showing music to my friends. I am actually okay with Apple's decision to remove the standard YouTube app. And I think Google will do a nice job keeping the this new YouTube app updated. Along with, I hear they are submitting a Maps app. So I think that will be a nice addition. Overall, everything feels snappy. Um, all the apps open almost instantaneously. I also noticed how fast the of Wi-Fi speeds I was getting. Um, I believe this is because of Apple's addition to dual band support in the iPhone 5. So let's just do a quick speed test. This thing was actually getting same results as my laptop which is extremely good I must be downloading something the folders can now be a little bit bigger just a little tidbit alright that's about it don't forget to comment rate and subscribe thanks guys